Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some sounds from the song True by the iconic band Spando Ballet. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get started, and we're starting with the bass. I'm going to turn off this equalizer, this compressor for now bring back the default patch and first thing we're going to do is raise the second oscillator to maximum and drop the pre and put the pregain at 8 to 7 on the second oscillator drop on octave and detune it to 104 now on the filter drop the cutoff to 182 Envelope generator 2 amount at 309. This envelope generator 2 amount controls the amount of this envelope generator 2 uh, controlling the cutoff through time. Now let's go to performance mode, change the mode from poly to mono and raise the portamento to 76 milliseconds. Now, for the first envelope generator, we got attack at 019, decay at 210, sustain at 586, 586. And 300 release. On the second envelope generator, we got zero attack, 537 decay, a sustain of 3 to 1, and a release of 253. Okay, and we got our base ready. Just gonna raise the turn on the glue compressor, which is just controlling some of the amplitude of the sound, and let's go to the first brass. Okay. And first thing, let's turn the delay modulator off and the equalizer and bring back the default pad. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is drop the pre-gain to 506 so we don't go deaf. Go to the second oscillator, raise it to maximum, drop one octave. Detune it to 84. And let's go to the filter. Three, two, 372 on the cutoff. And envelope generator 2 amounted 438. Okay. Now let's go to the VCA, raise velocity to maximum. This means the higher the velocity, the higher the volume. Let's go to the LFO one and raise it to 362. And here on the settings, on the cog, press it, go to modulation wheel and drop the VBR LFO one, which is how much of the LFO one is gonna affect the pitch. And drop it to 300. Now, for the first envelope generator, we got 99 on the attack. 852 on the DK. Sustain of 160. You can hear it already dropping. And 300 release. Now for the second envelope generator, we got 0.93 on the attack, a decay of 3 to 7, sustain of 4.32, and finally a release of 100. Okay, so now 
last thing we go to the reverb, raise the amount to 315, decay of 519. Damping of 364. And a modulation of 191. Okay, we got our brass. And now we can turn on the equalizer. And the delay modulator. This delay modulator has 453 time, 250 depth, 087 rate, full wet. Now what we're going to do is copy this DRC, go to the second one, and here you can just copy the second one. I'm going to turn this off for now. And the only thing you have to do here to get the second sound <coughs> is go to the first envelope generator, and raise the attack to 167. Decay at 852. Sustain of 951. And a release of 300. <clears throat> now on the second envelope generator, we got 154 on the attack. 3 to 7 on the DK. Sustain of 4, 3, 2. And a release of 100. Now we can turn on the equalizer. And a delay, mod delay modulator, which is the same as before, but with full wet. And we got our second brass. Okay, so now let's go to the first strings. Okay, turn off the equalizer, the delay modulator, and bring back the default patch. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is drop the pregame to 620. 623 should be okay. Raise the second oscillator to maximum and drop the first one to 919. No, no. Leave it at maximum, sorry. And the pregain at 494. Okay. Now, second oscillator, drop one octave. Detune it to 120. And now we can go to the first. Uh, to the filter. Drop the cutoff to 556. Five, and go to the VCA, velocity at maximum, and drop the keyboard to minus 309. This means the higher the note, the lower the um, volume. First envelope generator, 173 on the attack. DK of 500, sustain of 846, and a release of 300. On the second one, we got 111 on the attack, DK of 704, sustain of 253, and a release of 100. Finally, we go to the reverb, raise amount to 420, DK of 716, damping of 500 and a modulation of 204, okay? We got our strings, turn the equalizer on, which is cutting below 194 and has a boot, a uh, shelf boost of, one, uh, of 6 dBs above 182 kilohertz and then a little more boost on a bell with 483 dBs at 8.43 kilohertz. For the delay modulator, we got 263 on the attack, on the time, zero feedback, 230 depths, 150 rate, and a dry wet of 443. Now let's go to the second strings. 
turn on delay modulator, the equalizer, and bring back the default patch. Okay. First thing I'm going to do <coughs> is raise the second oscillator to maximum and drop oscillator one, two, nine, one, nine. Okay, 920, pre-gain at 620. Be 623. Now, raise the sub-oscillator to 565. Go to sub-oscillator, raise one octave. Now, envelope generator to amount at maximum, drop the cutoff to 4. Uh, oh, 04 Resonance at 4 at uh, 380 Okay And now for the first envelope generator attack at maximum 500 dk 852 sustain 572 release. Okay, it's 574. On the second envelope generator, maximum attack, maximum decay. 231 on the sustain. 228. And a release of 425. Now we go to the reverb, raise the amount to 519. DK of 730. Damping of 500 and a modulation of 523. 25. Okay. And we got our second strings, which we now can use, turn on the equalizer. Same cut as of about 160 and another one at 516 with 4.7 dBs. For the delay modulator, we got 263 times zero feedback, 230 depth, 150 rate, full watt. Okay, now let's go to the first keys. Okay, it has this K70 here. I'm gonna turn it off for now. And open the RC, bring back the default patch. Okay. Gonna reopen this K70 now. Just bear with me a second. Okay. Probably a little problem with the K70. So everything okay now? Let's bring, we got default patch, turn off the K70. And first thing I'm going to do <coughs> Let's change the first oscillator to a square. Go to LFO1 and drop the rate to 50. And now raise the pulse width to 75. 74, okay. Now I can go to the modulation page, turn off the oscillator 1, so LFO1 is controlling oscillator 1 and raise the modulation to 204. Okay. Now let's go to the mixer and drop the pre-gain to 389. Now raise the oscillator to, to 797. 
96, okay. Raise the, go to the sub oscillator, raise one octave, change it to a square. Raise it to 413. Can be 414. 414. And raise the ring modulator to 511. Okay. So let's go and drop the cutoff to 182. Envelope generator 2 at 727. And resonance at 464. Okay, and change the filter from a low pass for pole to a low pass to pole. Now for the first envelope generator, we got zero, 660 and zero and 660 again on the release. Now for the second envelope generator, we got zero, zero, 084. Okay. 86, okay. Sustain of 747. And release at maximum. Okay. Now let's turn the K7D on. And this K7D... Oh, I still have to put the reverb here and it's 200 amount decay of 797 damping 486 81 modulation of 404 okay 487 and our K7D has one eighth sync time, a dry wet of two, three, seven, a feedback of about three, five, seven. Then we got uh, nothing else, just that. And we got our first keys. Okay, so now let's go to the last patch and the keys to this one's. Okay, turn off the K7D and bring back the default patch. Okay, drop the pre-gain to 3, 8, 9. Oscillator 2 at 7, 9, 7. And drop an octave. 076 detune sub oscillator raise one octave and then raise sub oscillator to 383 okay now on the filter change the filter from a low pass four pole to a low pass two pole and drop the cutoff to 106 Envelope generator to amount to 364. And resonance of 464. Okay. Now for the first envelope generator, we got zero, 901 decay. Sustain of zero. 486 release. 88 can be okay. Now for the second envelope generator, we got attack at zero, decay at zero, 84. 
86 can be okay. 747 on the sustain and a release at maximum. Okay, now let's go for the reverb. 395 on the amount. Decay of 797. Damping 486. And a modulation of 404. About there. Now let's turn on the K70, which is the same as the one before. And we got our last patch. So let's now get ready to listen to the whole track. Not the whole track, but what we've got to listen. So bear with me just a second while I get this ready. Okay, let's listen. And this was it guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It was easy to follow and fun. So if you have any comments or suggestions you want to make for this or other tutorials, please do that on the comment section. That would help us a lot. Also remember that we have new content coming up every Thursday. So be ready to check that out and give us a like if you like our content, subscribe to our channel and remember to press the notification bell to know about all the things that we're putting out. So for now, I will say goodbye and see you next week. Goodbye, guys.